So this camera is officially trippy as hell. So I just got a DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I am really amazed actually with how much I like this camera. It's doing the face tracking thing. So no matter where I move my arm, it's always going to track my face. And it's like alien level face tracking, which is a little bit creepy and also extremely useful. So y'all have probably have dog hair all over me. So y'all have probably seen plenty of videos with specs and all that stuff. I'm not gonna do that. Let's just do a normal Normal vlog and I'm gonna drive around run an errand and just see what this camera is capable of give you some of my thoughts how's life what are you up to huh? what don't are you get thinking? too close with your bronchitis oh though <laughs> it is a freaking gorgeous day in Austin Texas I mean the clouds are out it's like a cool 67 degrees it's not 120 or some BS I'm feeling good it's a good day so where I'm headed right now is the UPS store to pick up a package which I'm really really excited about I will do a little unboxing for y'all my first impressions of this camera are I think the quality looks absolutely fantastic I've watched so many videos on YouTube about this thing I'm usually not super swayed by camera videos these days because like almost every camera just already looks amazing so I'm like where do we go from here but obviously the advantage of a camera like the Osmo Pocket over something like a phone or a normal camera is it's a gimbal and it has face tracking and it uses the good camera all, I mean it has one camera it uses the good camera all the time so image quality I think looks fantastic I definitely want to do some like HDR kind of shots with this using D log and shooting an HLG as well to test that out the audio that you're hearing is from this little DJI microphone I guess it's the DJI mic 2 hopefully it sounds good hopefully it's not clipping doing anything weird so this is a test using the internal mic on the Osmo pocket Three. How does this sound compared to using the little DJI mic? From what I've seen on YouTube, these mics are actually really good too, like the internal mics on this device. And now we are back to using the DJI wireless mic. So what do y'all think about the audio quality of this versus the internal mic? I'm gonna have to get used to looking at the camera because I keep looking down at the screen. So anyway, yeah, I really like the wide field of view. Like this is what it looks like at arm's length. I'm not using the included wide angle adapter. Forgot to mention that actually. I got the Osmo Pocket 3, the creator combo, where it comes with like the extra wide angle lens, the microphone, the case, basically everything you need to get started. And immediately I can say that it's a different experience to using the phone. There's something about having a dedicated camera for just camera stuff that doesn't have apps on it and stuff. You know, it's just a camera meant for recording and that's it. Or taking photos because this is also a stills camera. But yeah, having a dedicated camera just hits a little bit different. And I like how small and kind of tidy this camera is. It's a very cute design. Like I just want to pick it up and use it. So there's something to be said about small devices that can actually fit in your pocket that are this powerful, that have this level of image quality, like 10 bit 4K, like come on. This is an incredible deal, even at what, $670? Gotta stay hydrated, y'all. All right, we made it to the UPS store. Got my keys, gonna get my package. Let's go. This vlog is so boring. Okay, package acquired. Let's open this without cutting myself, hopefully. Turned off the face tracking mode because y'all don't need to see all those micro jitters. We have packed in a garbage bag, which is interesting packaging. <laughs> I bought this off of Mercari and I'm not complaining about this garbage bag. In fact, I'm gonna use this garbage bag. Well, this is a scented garbage bag, that's for sure. Okay, and inside this garbage bag, is a Rick Owens Intarsia, Intarsia? I don't know how it's pronounced. Leather jacket. Oof. This is my first leather jacket that I have ever bought myself, used, 
but it looks like it's in really good condition so i'll have to like try this on in a bit the leather feels really nice first impressions very very nice so because i'm creepy as hell i parked my car like in the back alley of this business <laughs> because I really wanted to try on this leather jacket. I also put on the windscreen for the uh, wireless microphone. So hopefully the wind, like it's a pretty windy day, hopefully you won't be hearing that too much. So I just propped up the Osmo Pocket on my car using the included little tripod, which is really cool. I think it will fit me. I really hope it does because I can't return it. But the quality feels really nice on this. It's really thin, it's actually thinner than I thought it would be. So please fit, please fit. Oh my gosh, it fits y'all. It actually fits. It's actually like slightly big, but I like that because then I can layer stuff underneath it. See what it looks like from behind. How does that look y'all? But yeah, damn, this actually fits like a glove. It fits really nice. The sleeves are like a little bit long, so they bunch up a little bit, but with this jacket on these glasses, I kind of feel like a scientist who knows a lot about dinosaurs right now. I like the fit of this a lot. It's very like slimming. It makes me feel slimmer than I actually am. Ironically, I'm actually standing behind the gym that I go to. So it's kind of beckoning me and saying, hey, you need to lose a little weight. I think it looks pretty nice. Do I look like a Rick Owens thought now? Ah, life goals. Especially within like the avant-garde clothing community, Rick Owens, Yoji Yamamoto, and Demi Lemister, etc. I've seen this kind of joke about like when you buy avant-garde stuff off Depop, etc. It probably is going to reek of like cigarettes and candles and darkness. All that to say, hopefully this doesn't end up smelling like cigarettes. But so far, it smells really good and it's actually really freaking comfortable. Something I immediately like about having a leather jacket, finally. I know I'm late to the game. I finally get it though. Like leather jackets do elevate a look. Like even if you're wearing like really boring stuff, a leather jacket can really help make it look like you know what you're doing, <laughs> even if you don't. I also happen to be wearing my Rick Owens trunk ring that I just reviewed, so check that out on my channel, as well as a couple vintage rings from my collection. This one I found in Marfa, Texas, and this one was in a store in Dallas, Texas. Antique mall, vintage stores, love that. So I love like kind of the antique mixed with this uh, beautiful modern Rick Owens trunk ring. It's just gorgeous. I could see the Osmo Pocket 3 also being like a really good fidget toy, just flipping the screen back and forth like, ugh, I just want to do that all day. Why are parking lots so fun and beautiful? They're so like boring and brutal, but I find them to be very entertaining. What's up with that? I stopped on this rooftop to get a glimpse of the view from up here. And instead of checking out my face, let's flip the camera around. Tap on the front button three times and check that out. Definitely some like fall colors in effect here in Texas. Really smooth stabilization too on this gimbal. Just panning up, panning down. I'm being a little careful right now to see how like not jittery I can get this footage to look. And then if you tap on the button three times, flips back around and then it starts tracking your face immediately, which is really cool. And then you can like walk around a little bit vlogging style, no matter where you move the camera left or right, it's always gonna stay tracked on your face. And that looks really cool. Sorry about that buzzing noise. There's always buzzing noises. Why are there so many buzzing noises in the world? Who's out there buzzing? What the hell? I don't know what this is, like some type of garter or neck brace or something. It always makes me wonder like when you find random shoes or clothes on the ground, like what's the story behind that, right? I could definitely see this camera being like the go-to camera for a lot of people that are vlogging, of course, and people that are, you know, the hashtag main character of their life or whatever. <laughs> Hopefully you're not offended by that. Everyone's offended by something. Oh my God, what, um, what am I doing with my life? So what I'm going to do now in the middle of rush hour, because I'm an idiot, is go get some frozen bread. So this is a really enticingly, just freaking amazing vlog, by the way. Just so many incredibly important things happening in this vlog. 
autofocus test. Seems pretty solid. for the frozen bread. It's definitely hidden somewhere. Oop, I think I found it, y'all. Love this one. All right, yo, we're recording. Hey. Uh, Total Stranger, what's your name? <laughs> Elijah. Elijah? Yeah. Cool, check out Elijah's pin. Yo, Zelda. It's for my team for work. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got promoted. So like my leader gave me this. Yo. And then, yeah. <laughs> Congrats on the promotion. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> well, that was kind of cool. <laughs> Something weird about vlogging where I feel like it enables a different side of me that's more outgoing. And just we'll talk to strangers and be like, hey, want to do this? Want to do that? There's a good example of that. That was completely not scripted, y'all. This is real life. Shout out, Elijah. And now I can't remember where the hell my car is. <laughs> We're in a kind of low-ish light situation. So what does this footage look like? I don't think I need the low light mode yet, but it almost looks like daylight just from the screen like preview alone. So this camera also has a two times zoom. So let's zoom in. This is what two times looks like and not the best in the world but you know what it's it's a zoom <laughs> it's a zoom feature i'm gonna zoom back out here's one times and here's two so this could come in handy here and there i decided to spontaneously check out a goodwill because i need a vest let's see if we can find a vest Calvin Klein shirt has this interesting, almost sparkly texture, but it's 100% cotton. Kind of nice. It's blue though, it's not black. It's pretty dark out here. I'm in a parking lot with some artificial lighting. So how does this look? Looks like face tracking still working pretty well but I'm not even using the night mode. Let's switch over to the night mode and see how that looks. This is low light mode. How does this look compared to the normal mode? I have some artificial light on me. Looks kind of like phone footage from what I can tell, but not too bad. I think it's definitely usable. All right, I turned low light mode off just to test what it's like to record in my car when it's like at night with no lights in my car. Looks pretty good in the preview screen. Now the mic is right here, clips onto my hat. I wear a hat all the time, so this might be the way to go, even though it looks kind of dorky. <laughs> all right, so now we're heading back to the house, back to the studio, so I can check this footage out, do some editing, and I will give you all some kind of final thoughts. All right, y'all, it is day two. I've been editing the video, checking out all these clips and stuff, and I can say I'm genuinely impressed, even using the normal color mode, not even using HLG or D-Log. The normal color mode, I think, looks fantastic on the Osmo Pocket 3. It does seem like there is some internal processing going on. It's like smoothing out some facial features and stuff like that. I'm not super mad about that, though, honestly. Like, it looks pretty good. Skin tones look pretty natural, maybe a little baby smooth. And I'm actually using the ultra-wide adapter that comes with the Osmo Pocket Creator combo thing. So I'll take that off so you can see what the normal framing is like. We definitely lose a little bit of that wide angle. Let me put that back on. Now we are back to using the ultra wide. So it's kind of nice that you can just use this little magnetic lens, clip it on, and the footage still looks really, really good. So overall, I am loving this camera so far, and I actually like it a lot more than the original version of the Osmo Pocket, which I had and I ended up returning. But this camera, I think may be a keeper, and I think it may be something that'll stay in my camera bag, especially when I'm traveling and stuff, and I don't want to carry a lot of crap with me. And yes, by the way, I am still wearing this Ricoans jacket 
jacket. I love this thing. Cleaned it up, conditioned it, and it is so nice. I don't want to take this off. And if you watched all the way to the end of this video, leave a popcorn emoji in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Smash all the buttons, and I will see you in the next one.